I'm Brenda Page Ward. I'm National Director for the State of Alabama Juneteenth. We're getting ready to celebrate and commemorate our Juneteenth on Saturday, June 19, 2021 at Kelly Ingram Park. That's on 6th Avenue North and 16th Street. We're going to kick off with a parade. We're going to have all women in white. We're going to have our children out there and they're going to be doing the flag dancing. We're going to have the um, foot soldiers, the, um, the uh, buffalo soldiers. Oh, it's going to be a lot of people out there. So we're looking forward to you coming. Some people might say, what is Juneteenth? Well, Juneteenth back in the 1400s, it wasn't born yet, but a lot of Africans was being kidnapped from Africa and brought to America to build the United States where we live now. After that, time went up, fast forwarding, uh, Abe Lincoln was born. And when Abe Lincoln was born, when he married his first wife, the, no, the third wife was the first two bad. Then he started telling her how grieved he was to see the blacks going through the struggle and how they were being beaten and killed. And he felt like every man was created equal by God. So he decided that once he ran for president, and if he won, he was going to do uh, a freedom of all the slaves. So what he did, he did run and he did win. And when he won on September, in 1862, he put together a emancipation bill to free all blacks, Africans, from Africa, from slavery. Not only did he free them, he freed the Chinese, the Vietnamese, the Indian, because everybody was enslaved. But the black man, because of his skin being so dark that he was treated most harshly and was never considered to be a man, because it was even wrote in the Constitution that he could never be uh, nothing but a slave. So after he did that, he um, freed everybody. So two and a half years later, back in 1865, on June 19th, when um, Granger and the Buffalo Soldiers went into Gavison, Texas, and there were 2,000 blacks that was still in slavery because the Confederate soldiers, it was only a handful of them, would not let them go and they slave masters was not willing either. But when they saw Granger coming, General Granger coming, they took and um, ran. And when they ran, that uh, the Granger read the emancipation, freeing all slaves. And once they did that, the blacks that were there, that was free, what they did was they killed the fattest hog and they cut him up and they fixed the biggest feast. They put on their good clothes and they danced all over the place. They, they ate fruit and vegetables. They ate beef, corn, pork, um, uh, well, they couldn't eat rice, but, you know, they ate all, all the food that they uh, planted for themselves and uh, carrots and everything. And they celebrated for seven whole days. And so they could not, by them being African, and they couldn't speak good English, they couldn't say June 19th. 19, they said June 19th. And that started a history 157, 58 years ago. That tradition has lived. And in 1994, um, Ronald Myers went and petitioned Congress to make Juneteenth a legal name. And, the, and he got it passed in bill, in the bill, in legislation. And from there, in 1997, um, Hank Sanders, who was a uh, Senate at that time, pushed the bill that Alabama and all states in the United States would uh, could be a Juneteenth state. And now, in 2021, and even back as far as 2019, 18, we're pushing the bill that Juneteenth would be a national paid holiday on the calendar, just like Dr. King, just like um, the Confederate Day soldiers, all of it. So 
when Congress meet again. So everybody call your representative for your state and tell them you want Juneteenth to be a paid national holiday. Okay, I'm Brenda Page Ward. I'm director for the state of Alabama National Juneteenth Observing Foundation. And on June 1st, we're going to do the raising of the flag and we will have the real Buffalo Soldiers there. It will take place at 12 noon at Kelly Ingram Park up there by the, um, the, uh, uh, the men praying. And we will do that and you will see how it's done. Um, also, we're going to uh, have a little ceremony there. It only takes 30 minutes, so if you're at lunch, you can go ahead on and schedule your day to come out and see us. And don't forget, June 19th, we're having our huge festivities. And this year's theme is Prosperity in Juneteenth. Prosperity mentally, physically, and economically. Because right now, we are below the totem pole when you come to economic. So now we're doing a series of training of class at our headquarters, and we're doing them over at the Foot Soldiers on 4th Avenue under the leadership of Ms. Paulette uh, uh, Porter. So if you, uh, Porter Roby, I, I apologize, Paul, Paulette Roby, and she's there, and all you have to do is call her or myself. My number is 205 593 That's 205-593-7171. We're located in your community store building. The address is 2011 Bessemer Road. The zip code is 35208. So come on out, celebrate, commemorate, and enjoy the festivity. Don't worry about food. We got plenty of free food that'll be available that day. So come on out. And if you have a talent you want to share for June June 19, call us up. 205-593-7171. And thank you and God bless you.